dealing with nerves. That's a good point. Yeah, sometimes the music... Ooh, I like what they did with the background, you know? It's like a Christmas red. That's nice. And it goes to green. Yeah, that's what someone was telling me about. <sighs> okay. We're yawning, but uh, hey, man, this isn't this isn't a tiring set. We got we got Zero to None, and we got P.K. Chris versus Bochi and Koopa Clyde. Now, Zero to None, P.K. Chris, in terms of Aeon Doubles, you know, another one of those incredibly strong static teams have won plenty of Aeon Doubles in their own right end. Uh, Koopa Clyde, you know, a player that's been playing since Smash 4, always done very solid. Um, he's not here all the time because I think he goes to college, but he's here right now playing that Yoshi. He plays a little bit of Lucas, I think, too. Um, and, yeah, you guys know who Bochi is, man. Bochi, you know, known for her as a bell, but, you know, now she's playing a couple different characters. Not taking this game as seriously, but I've heard that her snake's kind of nice, so we got to look out for it. Okay, and, yeah, that Zelda up B onto the stage. Uh, Zero to none, you know, he's... He's very good at mixing up like where and when he up -bees. It's It's really, really hard to um, always predict that. And you know, P.I. Chris too. That, oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that was weird. Chris almost killed ZTN and then Yoshi killed uh, Chris. So it was a very weird interaction, but... But yeah, I'm, actually, I'm also watching uh, Bochi Snake here. Um, I know she's like, you know, she's playing a little passive, using a lot of grenades, a lot of explosives and stuff. Um, I know she was saying she thinks Snake is like really busted and like actually kind of easy, so. You know, she plays a lot of characters. She's very proficient at this game, you know. She can pick up a character and figure it out pretty fast. And uh, Snake's the pick today, so. Kind of cool to see. But I wonder if they lose, if she'll go to someone else, because she said she was thinking about doing counter picks, so. She has a lot of other solid characters. Obviously, the Isabel is, is there, and there's also a couple others. She has a strong Pichu that people don't know about. She has a Palu, even like back in the day, she had a Palu. Um, so yeah, let's just see what, uh, also a Lucas. Her Lucas was very, very good. So let's see, uh, let's see what happens here if, if they don't win this game. But right now it's very, very even, man. And like, I'm noticing that, uh, PK Chris and Zertanon, they're doing a very good job. Like they're, they're very, doing a very good job of being like next to each other, but not hitting each other. Um, you know, you can definitely see that like they've definitely played uh, with each other before. Okay. Chris dies right when I say that. But I don't know if that was an SD, but uh, yeah, that's, that hurts, man. And right there, though, we're evening out the stocks. We got Chris with the back air. Ness's back air is so strong. You guys already know that. But yeah, it's interesting because uh, Zero to None and Chris are able to stand right next to each other and not hit each other and not mess up. They're able to, like, kind of do things, do little team combos right next to each other without messing anything up. It's very, very, very cool to watch. Especially considering Ness is a character that sometimes likes to get up close, and uh, Zelda, obviously, she has a bunch of stuff to wall you out, so it's like two kind of opposite archetypes, but they make it work, man. It's really, really nice to see. And right there, man, that's what I'm talking about, that B button, that Shovel Knight coming out. Yeah, gotta be careful. Zero to none. Uh, oh my god, that killed. Oh, that was... That was something, man. That was... Was he at, like, 45? I think Bochi was at 45. I, could, I cannot believe that killed her. That was crazy. Yeah, shrugs. Big shrugs, man. In case you guys didn't see, in the stream room, Sage turned around, shrugged. That's, that's the sign, man. But, you know, we got a game two coming out here. Um, Bochi and Koopa Clyde, you know, they were keeping up really good until the very end. So I think they could still definitely bring this back and do very well. Um, but, you know, if ZTN and Chris get the momentum, and if they're doing their thing, it's really, really difficult to deal with sometimes. So let's see if they can kind of, like, you know, put a monkey wrench into all that. I wonder if Bochi is considering swapping. I know she, like, has a couple other characters. Uh, like I said, the Lucas on the table, the Isabel's on the table. She even has, like, I said this before, like, people don't know about her Pichu. Her Pichu is really, really good. Like, from what I fought against her Pichu, like, just playing against her, it was very, very good. So I just wonder if we're going to see uh, a character swap here. And she's she's talking to, to Koopa Clyde. They're having a they're having that, that teammate combo. I appreciate it. They're going to Lilat, so I'm kinda curious to see what goes on here. Okay, yeah, they're they're picking the tunes. Yeah, Lila has some bangers, real talk. I don't I'm not a I'm not a fan of Lila, but it has some bangers. It definitely has some bangers. Alright, yeah, so okay, 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 we're we're keeping the characters though. Okay, I like that. You know, her snake has been doing really well. Um, honestly, too, it's not like she was like really like playing poorly or anything. It was really just towards the end, uh, ZTN and Peter Chris were able to, you know, really like do like you know teams things and really just kind of get that stock. But 
Uh, you know, I respect the choice just staying with Snake. I think this is a good choice. And Lila, you know, you know, I think it happened here. You know, I don't know exactly how good it is for Snake. Um, but it was the stage they picked. So I'm, I'm going to trust uh, Bochi and Koopa Kai's judgment here. Um, but right now, ooh, it's, it's looking, it's, it ain't looking good. Like, that was, that was, dang. That, that, that hurts, bro. Yeah, but going on a stage like Lila, you know, I was kind of thinking this before, but it's, it's a weird stage because the platforms are all so close to each other and they're all so close to the ground. And with the way, like, it's, it, the slants are tilted, I thought maybe it wouldn't be a great pick for, oh my god. That was kind of nice. <laughs> like I said, these two, they're very used to teaming with each other, but... I was gonna say, you know, there's not a lot, of, not a lot of space when Snake gets hit to just kind of get out of uh, bad situations, you know. So Bochi, I felt like she was gonna have a problem um, with landing and all that stuff, but it seems like that's not really the case. It's just a lot of really strong team combos coming out from ZTN and Chris. So let's see if they can bring this back. Okay, so you know, we're we're, we're dying at 50. It's all right. This is doable. Okay, I like this. We're bringing it back a little bit. Still a big mountain to climb, but not undoable. All right, yeah, and uh, oh, that was her teammate. That's not good. I, I think the C4 killed her, killed him, but I'm not sure. Okay, so Bochi's like way off stage right now. Okay, so she's gonna make it back. Watch a Koopa Kai here too. Yeah, they're both just. This is what I'm saying. Like, look, they're so close to each other at all times, and they're not hitting each other. It's actually really impressive. Okay, now this is, this is, okay, that was nice, but I don't, I don't know how this is going to be done, especially on a stage like Lilac, because once you get one hit on Yoshi here, I mean, it's going to be really hard to, to, to kind of escape whatever, whatever they're plotting, uh, Pika, Chris, and ZT, yeah, it's, that's it, man. Incredibly dominant second game there. The first game was close until the very end, um, but right there, 